Well, Kentucky has certainly been a Ford state for more than 100 years, with Louisville once making the Model T back in 1913. Tomorrow, that company will announce it's going to build two new plants in Hardin County, creating 5,000 brand new jobs as it goes full force into electric vehicles. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us here on the WHS 1119 team. I'm Doug Prophet. This Hardin County farmland right here, about an hour south of Louisville, will be transformed into two plants that will create batteries for the next generation of all electric Ford vehicles. It'll be called the Blue Oval SK Battery Park. Governor Andy Bashir headed to Twitter tonight to say this about the $5.8 billion investment. We're going to announce the single largest economic development project in this state's history. We are going to lead this country, if not the world, in the electric vehicle battery market. Now here's a look at where it's going to be. 1,551 acres of land in Glendale, Kentucky, just south of Elizabethtown with quick access to I-65. The WHS 11 night team has been in Hardin County tonight getting reaction to what's on the way. Isaiah Kim Martinez joins me live with what people are saying about it. Isaiah. Well, Doug, like you said, that almost $6 billion complex will be built just off I-65 here in Glendale, of course, set to open in 2025. Now, some folks here tell me they'll always be a little hesitant about large construction in this small community, while others are all for the economic boost. Great opportunities out here to make production. A town of just 1,700, Glendale, Kentucky, will be the source of around 5,000 jobs and a push in environmentally friendly travel in just a few years. It's probably going to take a while for the people around here in this community to get used to it. A reality that volunteer firefighter Trevor Ake says might take time for locals to buy in, but he believes the payoff is there. But over time, they will adjust to it and like, hey, this is actually a good thing. On more than 1,500 acres of farmland in Hardin County, Ford announced they'll be building two power plants where thousands of electric batteries for Ford and Lincoln's newest models will be put together. It's a truck that will usher in a cleaner future. This coming nearly five months after the first all-electric F-150 was announced. It's called the Lightning. The battery so powerful, Ford says it can do this. I can help build your house. And if need be, power that house. An economic boost in the eyes of state leaders and for folks like Ake. All these small town businesses around here are going to love it. Potential for growth. And again, this is just off the inter interstate. So an area with plenty of traffic flow in and through. We'll be at the state capitol tomorrow where the official announcement will be made. Bill Ford will be there, Andy, uh, Governor Andy Bashir, and other state leaders as well. Doug. All right, Isaiah, thank you very much. That announcement coming at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. We'll have live coverage during our 4 o'clock news tomorrow. Now, here's the major takeaway for Kentucky and the top headlines. Ford and SK Innovation plan to invest $11.4 billion and create nearly 11,000 new jobs. Close to 6,000 are going to come in Stanton, Tennessee, and again, the 5,000 for Glendale, Kentucky. Production of the new electric vehicles and advanced lithium-ion batteries will begin in 2025. Ford will build two new battery plants on the 1,500-acre site in Glendale, Kentucky, near I-65, opening in 2025 to be called the Blue Oval SK Battery Park. This is Ford's largest manufacturing investment in the company's 118-year history. Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell also out with a statement tonight saying with Ford's commitment, we have further solidified our role as a world-class automotive state on the cutting edge of research and development.